Hey everybody, this is Brandon Quaid, and I'm about to do a Quaid Aid today on how to stay warm in these terrible Southern California winters. So I was thinking about this morning, we do these videos, and I thought about uh, staying warm because today I rode in chaps for the first time. It, it was in the 40s. It was about 42 degrees when I left my house, and uh, a lot of you guys out there won't buy them because you don't think they're cool, but trust me, if you wear them, you'll appreciate them when it's in the 40s for sure. So. Uh, this is Kelly, again, our motor clothes manager, and today we're going to go over, she's going to go over some chaps, uh, different fitment, how you should fit them, because she used to pick on me, I used to have the wrong fitting chaps, now I have the right ones, because she told me to do the right thing. So, um, Kelly, go ahead and let's uh, show me what you want. These are some Dyson Bakelite Chaps, and Leather Chaps. Now, are these for men? These are for men. Okay, then let's bring our male model in. His name is Eric Lefevre, and he is our sales manager. Hi. Okay, so size them up. First thing you want to do, people think if they don't fit around the waist that they're not going to fit. Well, there's adjustments in the back with laces that you can open them and close them for fitment around your waist. So first, I'm going to ask Eric to put them around his waist. And for proper fitment, I'm going to ask him if I can go in between his legs. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you want him to fit snug on your legs. If they're too loose, then the air is just going to come up right in the chaps and not keep you warm. So you're going to make sure they're zipped all the way down. And chaps are made a little bit longer. So when you're riding on the bike, they cover your boot. So they have the three extra buttons down here, so what you can do is take them to the dry cleaning and have them lacerate what you don't want on there. Make sure they're a little bit longer so they cover your boot. And just make sure they're tied around the thigh so there's no open space to get through. And then you snap them and then figure out how much you want to cut off. Okay, so. You can turn around and see the placement. Woo! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> hey, Eric, let me ask you a question. Where do you live? I live in Feeland. Okay, so when, if you left your house this morning. It was 37 degrees. 37 degrees. And you do ride. With chaps. Yeah, my, my crew does ride. We're big riders here. So Eric does come down a lot and you always wear chaps, right? Always. Always. Yep. And the other thing about chaps too is they're very safe. So I like feeling safe when I'm on my bike, so I know that's just a lot of more protection. Okay, so right on, let's go right into a couple other things, Kelly. So how else can Eric stay warm coming down from Feeling? Well, Harley Davidson's got a heated liner that you can put on. And it uh, just put it on. And it goes underneath your jacket. So you want it to fit a little bit tighter. You want to zip this up? Yeah, and you have your attachment. Hidden. It's really hidden. Your attachment wire is right here in this pocket. Okay, so check this out. This is something I learned this morning. So this is a power pack. It's rechargeable. You don't need to have this plugged into a bike. Eric rides a Dyna Switchback. Okay, so it's not a full dresser bagger which has plug-ins which a lot of the bagger guys are used to. So a Dyna guy, Sportster guy, Softail guy can buy this vest. You can ch plug this charger in the wall, put this into the pocket, turn that on, and you have a heated vest. So don't think looks or everything. You'd be a sissy if you don't get this because then you can ride in the winter. So come get a vest, come get some chaps, check this out. And then uh, for the girls, you have the same type of thing, correct? We have a heated jacket liner. Similar to the men's one, but we have one for men, for women as, as well. So the same power pack, the same plug-in, and this is all heated, so keep you nice and toasty. And Kelly, tell me the difference on the type of chaps you just put on Eric to what these are. Well, these are a basic leather chap, so um, the leather is a little bit stiffer. For these ones here are the deluxe chaps, which are a little bit more conditioned, and they're lined on the inside. And they have a double zip 
for different leg fitment. Here's the liner on the inside. And the liner doesn't go all the way down, like I said again, it's because you're going to cut off the bottom, whatever you don't need. I wear these chaps when I ride the deluxe for men, of course. Um, but I don't cut mine. I like to drag mine. That's just the way I am. I like to tear mine up. So you guys get down here, come get fitted for some chaps and some warm weather gear, and that way you can ride your bike at any time. So I'd like to thank my male model, Eric Lefevre. You're welcome. Okay, beautiful bearded man. Kelly, the lovely Kelly, like always. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.